Codsworth? As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Oh my God. This can't be happening. This isn't happening. Isn't happening? What are you talking about? My, but you look distraught. Perhaps Sir can offer one of those hugs you humans are so fond of. Hmm? Speaking of which, where is your better half? He can't be dead. He can't be. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. These things you're saying, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Uh, why, uh, why, sir had him last, remember? Perhaps he's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure he'll be back with him momentarily. He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. They stole my baby. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It will take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car the car how do you polish rust what do you know codsworth i'm afraid i don't know anything mum the bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry I thought for certain you and your family were were dead. I I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A hollow tape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that Pip-Boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet.
Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. <laughs> What's all this, then? Not this time. Nothing here but a few flies. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me! Sir and young Sean, they aren't here. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are as put together as I am. There's still people alive and conquered? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front.
Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? <coughs> you lose your owner, buddy? Okay, then. Let's stick together. Wait there. Come on. Hey, hold position. Wait there. See if he had anything worth taking. See if she had anything. Thank you. 
Yes. Come in there, and I'm gonna skin everyone! Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk, but I'll be back, and you'll be dead. Man, I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth. You owe me. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Uh, that ain't I'll give you my chest full of emeralds just as soon as we're out of this mess. Maybe? Nope. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home. A fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. I saw Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Tough break. You don't know the half of it. Anyway. <sighs> nope. We figured Concord was a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... 
Well, we do have uh, one idea. Nah, that ain't it. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell it. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A Westic internalized servo system, that's what! Inside that baby super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get sued. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. <laughs> Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. <laughs> now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit suck. So what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. They're down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Hey. Through Make it quick. They mass for another attack. I won't be able to hold them. You with the rescue team? Get this over. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my door. I give you that.
easy, mama. You okay? Fine, fine, Preston. Quit fussing. <clears throat> that was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did, and we owe you our lives. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. You're welcome, anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a woman out of time. Out of hope. But all is not lost. I can feel... Your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working for nothing. I need more. Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Oh, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, well, she's gonna need it too. <coughs> We need oh, to keep let's moving. Get going. Sanctuary awaits. Sounds like you better get going to Diamond City. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading to that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. Not far.
day in the Commonwealth. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here. Over 200 years ago. I, I was frozen or something for most of it. I just woke a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Just my son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual, raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. Many men could use more people like you. And by the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Hey, hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Then maybe I can help. I'm telling you, I'm not a saint. You have to believe me. Let's all just calm down. No one has to die. No, he wants me dead. He's never gonna stop. I have to kill him. Don't listen to him. It'll say anything to convince you. Look, all I need is for you to put down the gun. Then we can talk this through. No. No! He'll kill us both! Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. And maybe I can help. How this, uh... Fine. I, I was on my way to Bunker Hill. I round a bend, and I see this guy. Me! Gun drawn, ready to fire. After that, it's a, it's a blur. You scuffle for a while, but I won. Now, I don't know what else I can say to convince you. He's the synth. Now, are you gonna get out of my way? You know what? Just kill him. What? No! I, uh, I need to get out of here. Hey. God, I'm still shaking. Well, hello there.
Nearby. They ain't a match for us, but we should be careful. You. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but. Yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Head inside quick before all Danny catches on with the block. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel. She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall. Some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that critter scrap for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's gonna throw free speech in the dumpster. Officer? Head on inside. This is the famous Dime City. My follow a gem and a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough. Gabber. Got plenty of ramen meat on the hook. I don't need anything. <laughs> hey, Polly. Fresh meat right here. Hey, kiddo. Happy for sale. 
Not looking to buy right now. <laughs> Can't believe you eat that poop. Only one. One thing worth buying in the dugout inn, and that's the booze. You just gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Oh man, you got a robot butler? I want a robot butler. Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute make the synths. Oh no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how? Excuse uh, me, I Professor Scara? Do you want Dr. To Duff about? handles all the visitors. Bother her. Uh, Oh, look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear, if you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Biology? No, not even. Oh, well, if you're not, um, <laughs> I guess I'll just get back to the lab then. <sighs>